It's a race against time for Beijing health authorities to catch cases of COVID-19. A third round of mass testing is underway in Chaoyang district. The idea is to test, trace and isolate to avoid a city-wide lockdown like the one in Shanghai. I think that Beijing's municipal government won't be like Shanghai's. Beijing won't have an outbreak like theirs, which was caused by a slackening of prevention and control. Authorities put China's economic capital and its 25 million inhabitants under lockdown almost a month ago. Around half of them are now allowed to leave their homes, but many can't venture out much further than their own residential compounds. Millions of others are still stuck indoors, fresh cases leading to prolonged confinements and sometimes a critical lack of basic necessities. At times, residents organized protests at their windows demanding food supplies. China's health officials, though, are sticking to their strict zero-COVID policy, saying the long-term goal outweighs the short-term inconvenience. The battle against the COVID-19 epidemic overall is a war, a war of resistance, a people's war. We must realize that the epidemic, the virus, is the culprit that is dragging down the economy. Beijing and Shanghai residents aren't the only ones. In fact, some 180 million people in China are in various states of lockdown, affecting people's lives and livelihoods. Friday, the CCP's Politburo unveiled plans to help the economy, the pandemic and the war in Ukraine putting pressure on the government during a crucial year. President Xi Jinping is expected to secure an unprecedented third term this autumn.